You are a multidimensional human being. So why should your career not reflect that? Building a career portfolio can make you irreplaceable. It can help you develop a unique set of skills and experiences that can completely set you apart and make you hard to replicate. We all know that we should diversify our financial investments, spread the risk or hedge the bets as they say. But why is the same advice not encouraged of our career paths and our profession? The thing that quite literally brings in the income to fuel our financial investments. For so long, I considered being a generalist to be a massive weakness. Today, I actually consider it to be my greatest superpower that has helped me to future-proof my career because I have been able to build a career portfolio. And this video is all about why you should seriously consider building a career portfolio for yourself too. So what is a career portfolio? A career portfolio is just like an investment portfolio. Instead of putting all of your eggs in one basket or in one job, you diversify your skills, your experiences, your passions. It's actually a bit more of a mindset shift from climbing a single ladder to exploring a dynamic jungle gym of opportunities. Your career portfolio encompasses your work experience, your education, side hustles, any volunteer work you've done, even hobbies that you have. Basically anything that gives you a valuable skill, add that to your career portfolio. Career portfolio is showcasing your versatility and your adaptability. Now, the problem with the traditional career paths is that, quite frankly, they are already dead. The world of work is changing faster than ever before. And if you stick to the old ways of working and you put all of your eggs in that basket, you risk becoming obsolete, irrelevant, and really just put out of the job. Our entire lives, we are told to decide what it is that we want to do, to stick to that path and to specialize in it. But in 2024, you have more reasons than not to actually do the complete opposite. Because for the majority of people that stick to that one profession or that one discipline, that one career identity, or even that one source of income, you're quite literally going to make yourself replaceable, less adaptable, and give your employer so much leverage over you. Now, practically speaking, what even is a career portfolio? Well, think of it like having multiple identities for your career. You don't have to be defined by your current job title, your current employer, or even your current chosen profession. Myself, for example, I am a product leader, a product mentor, a startup founder and advisor, a content creator, an angel investor, a speaker, and a runner. Each of these identities that I have took me many years to develop. Some of them included me having traditional jobs. Some of them were hobbies that I had that then turned into side hustles. Some of them were just things that I dabbled with on the side and took a lot of interest in and learned a lot from and maybe even made a little bit of money from. Each of these identities took me quite some time to develop and this happened over many, many years. Some of them included me having traditional jobs. Some of them were side hustles. Some of them were volunteer work. Others were quite literally interests and passions that I had that eventually turned into more meaningful work that even brought in income. My portfolio includes skills, experiences, interests, side projects, and initiatives that I've accumulated through everything that I have ever done. And this means that I am no longer pigeonholed to having one job or one type of role, or even relying on one paycheck, all as a result of having different career identities across my career portfolio. Investors build investment portfolios to diversify their holdings and mitigate risk. Financial advisors recommend a portfolio that includes equities, bonds, and cash. Executives often use portfolio theory to analyze their business units and strategy. The purpose of their portfolio is to manage risk and return into the future. Artists and designers throw open their portfolio to showcase the work they have created and are very proud of. Now, a career portfolio is slightly different because it's not a physical entity or system, but it's a whole new way to think and speak and most importantly, craft your career future. And all of this will allow you to navigate an ever-changing world of work with meaning, flexibility, and clarity. Now let's compare a traditional career path with that of a career portfolio. 
A career path tends to be a single pursuit, one where you're climbing the ladder, some kind of ladder, and you can see the direction in front of you. A career portfolio, on the other hand, is like a never-ending discovery of fulfillment. It's essentially a jungle gym where you can do lots of different things at lots of different times. You don't have to do something with the purpose of it turning into a full-time job. You don't have to make that commitment, but you can try, you can dabble, and you can connect the dots as you go. Now, that's a really nice segue into talking a little bit more about being a generalist. Now, I wanna talk about this because one, that is what I identify with, and I do think a career portfolio lends itself very nicely and quite naturally to someone who is a generalist, but it definitely doesn't mean that if you are not, that you cannot still go and create a career portfolio because I really do think everyone in 2024 should be thinking about their careers that way in order to future-proof themselves. Now, as a generalist, you are a multi-dimensional human being. You may not be very good at one thing, but you are kind of good at a lot of things. And you are very, very good at learning. You're adaptable and you can pretty much solve any problem that lands on your lap. Solving a problem doesn't mean you solve it all by yourself, but you know how to go and seek the help, the resources, the connections, to help get there. You prioritize big picture understanding and you really value connecting the dots and connecting patterns between those big pictures. You prioritize big picture understanding across many different areas and you value breadth over depth. And you like to connect the dots and create patterns across different areas. Now, generalist or not, when you put yourself in the position of having a career portfolio, no one can take that from you, unlike a job. And we are seeing so much of that in 2024 and 2023. People's livelihoods, people's careers, people's professions are quite literally being taken from them because all of their eggs have been put in that one basket And more often than not, that basket is being held by one employer. So if you diversify yourself, no one can take all of that from you at any given point. You own what your career looks like, but unfortunately, majority of the time at the moment, our careers and our futures around them are owned by the person or company that we work for. The other thing about having a career portfolio is that it can evolve as you evolve. Like I said, you are a human being, you are multifaceted, you have different interests and hobbies, and you will look to different things for purpose and meaning in your life at different stages of your life. How cool would it be if your career reflected that as well? The thing that you chose to do when you were 18 or 24 or 28 might not be the thing that you enjoy anymore or you want to do when you are 38 or when you are 40. The world has changed in some profound ways that really supports the career portfolio. Doing different things is no longer considered to be abnormal And in fact, it's becoming more and more celebrated. The macroeconomic forces that are pushing so many workers out of their jobs are also the forces that are actually driving a lot more people to get in control, be more independent, be more adaptable, and move towards this type of career model. Now, practically speaking, if you want to start creating your own career portfolio, here are a few tips that can help you to get into that mindset because it's going to be a gradual thing. It's going to take time. It's going to take years. But because it is more of a mindset shift, the sooner you start thinking this way, the quicker you will start seeing opportunities in places that you probably didn't see before. If you are curious about something, please lean into it. Curiosity tells us a lot about the things that we should probably be doing that we sometimes ignore. Or if you like something, lean into that as well. Because oftentimes we like things, but because we think it's not relevant to work or we think we don't have time for it, we don't ever explore it properly. Same with things that we used to like when we were kids. And then we kind of just grew up and forgot about those things. The things you are curious about, the things you like and you naturally gravitate towards, lean into those. And over time, become more conscious about how aspects of those things you are naturally curious about 
could be small things that you could bring into a career portfolio. An example from my own life is that I have always been the person that friends or people that I know come to, to soundboard or get career advice. I don't know what it is. It's something that has always come quite naturally to me, but I always just looked at it as something that was just part of my personal life. I would have random conversations with people or I would review resumes for friends or even friends of friends. And it never meant anything more to me than that. And then as I started making TikTok videos and eventually YouTube videos, I realized, hold on, I think I actually really like educating. And I actually think I'm really good at explaining things and breaking them down. And I think I have perspectives and experience that other people might value from. And that's when I realized I should get into mentoring or offering coaching services. And that is what I do now. And I have plans to make that a really big part of my career portfolio. It's still small and it's organically growing, but I know it has a lot of potential if I just put some more intentional effort into it. I would say product coaching currently takes up about 8% of my career portfolio. So it's small, but it is organically growing and I find it very fulfilling. I don't necessarily want it to ever become something I do on its own. I'm quite happy with it always remaining as a small pie in my career portfolio but it's one that I do want to grow a little bit more. And thinking back, it's something that I always naturally did. And then over time, I found a way to actually monetize it and make it into something that serves a really important piece of my career. Another example from my own life is I took part in a startup accelerator program for my second startup. This was a few years ago, but after I finished the accelerator, I have now been given the opportunity to go back and either be like an entrepreneur in residence or to be a mentor or to be a judge with follow-up cohorts for those accelerator programs. I will also do ad hoc Q&A sessions with the founders in those follow-up accelerator cohorts. And basically I've found a way to stay connected to that entire ecosystem. Now it's again, a small part of my career portfolio, but it's something that I am intentionally and actively trying to build up because one, I have aspirations to have my own accelerator one day, but secondly, I have a lot of experience and knowledge from being an early stage startup myself that I feel like I can give back. And I especially want to give back to women in accelerators and women in early stage startups or female founders, because that's a position I have been in. And I would really have valued having that one-on-one support uh, with someone like myself. Now, that is a part of my career portfolio that isn't necessarily bringing me an income, but it is one that is helping me to stay connected to a part of that ecosystem that I care a lot about. It's giving me exposure to how startup accelerator programs are now running so many years after I had partaken in one because I do have aspirations to have my own accelerator one day and that's very good intel for me and it's allowing me to continue building my professional brand as someone who is able to work with and advise startups. So this is a really good example of having something in your career portfolio that isn't just about bringing you income. It's about learning, it's about exposure, it's about being a part of something that could lead to something else in the future. Now, as we come to our wrap in this video, I want to share a message for those of you who might just be starting out your career. It's really important for you to know that you do not have to have it all figured out. In fact, it's probably better if you don't, because that is really the beauty of having a portfolio. And not having a singular focus or singular direction is actually going to allow you to see things and try things and test things in a totally different way. It gives you space, it gives you a different perspective, and it allows you to look behind doors that you otherwise may not have looked behind. Lean into your passions, lean into your curiosity, and start crafting all the different aspects of your portfolio. They don't have to be complete today. All you have to do is start but the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be to catch up. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much if you got this far. I really do appreciate it. I hope you found this video inspiring. I hope it gave you a different way to think about future-proofing your career and even just gradually changing what your career is made up of today. Don't get stuck in a narrow career path that leaves you vulnerable and replaceable. 
And if you do feel like you are currently there, just know that it's not too late because the world in 2024 is quite literally set up to help you thrive in doing lots of different things and doing lots of those things independently and in a flexible way as well. But the longer you wait, the harder it is going to be to catch up. So the most important thing is to start slowly and start now. 